The No New Friends Podcast is brought to you by Sandpiper Vacations. For the best in vacation plannings, just visit www.sandpipervacations.com. Let them know that the No New Friends Podcast sent you. But I was getting, it was a mixture of, I think, the heat and the tequila and the fact that I told my husband he didn't have to walk so far away and then proceeded to walk to the other side of the park to do something that didn't even have to be done the entire time. Cut out, Sarah. Did you say you were in heat? (laughs) (laughs) That look, that look that she just gave Is that what the look was when she put the phone down? That was the look that she gave Lewis. Yes. That's why she was pissed. She was in heat. She's like, the kids are here. Like, we can't just leave the kids. God damn it. Four times they were looking for the family restroom. They're like, can you watch our girls for a minute? I'm like, Jesus. Like, no. I'm spraying them down. No. I I think I think I did mention it a few times. And then Nick leaned over to me and he's like, can we find the family bathroom? (laughs) Broadcasting from the Sandpiper Vacation Studios, it's time for the No New Friends Podcast. The podcast for adults who love to laugh at adulting. The good, the bad, and the funny. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. It's showtime. It's showtime. That's right, you're listening to the No New Friends Podcast, voted number one by our friends and family, and number three by the Orlando Weekly Readers Poll. Speaking of the Orlando Weekly Readers Poll, the official list is out. We're assuming we're on it. Make sure you vote for us under the category Local Notables, Best Local Podcast. That's vote.orlandoweekly.com. We are the podcast for adults who love to laugh at adulting. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, all of our social media links are right there on our website, nonewfriendspodcast.com. While you're there, check out our really sweet merchandise. Join our clubhouse. Become a friend with benefits for as low as $2 a month. You can watch us record everything after dark, uh, exclusive content, interviews never before seen for as low as $2 a month. Speaking of merchandise, we now have hats. God damn it. We have hats and they're amazing and we love them and they're special. Right now we are live on YouTube where we stream the entire episode every single Wednesday night, 8 o'clock ish p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, Lewis. Darren, Sarah, and I go live from the theme parks every single Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you're going to want to follow us on the TikTok as well. My name is Scott. I'm the host. With me, as always, the scumbag reselling hoarder himself, Chris. Buy a special hat from us, bitch. <laughs> the Jewish American princess, Sarah. Hello. Sitting in for Nick, the wise man, Darren.com. I just want to know why Sarah's always last when you mention TikTok. Ooh. And our best producer. for last. We're just gonna go with that. Yeah, best yeah. for last. Scott must be best Team Palestine. What? Hmm? <laughs> what? Oh boy. Um, it's my birthday. I'm a little buzz. Yeah. Uh, we'll get there. But um, actually, to yes. Palestine. What? What is happening? my birthday? Okay, rewind. Happy You're birthday. You're the one saying this stuff. <laughs> Today is actually your birthday. Uh, we did your it birthday is. episode last week, but this we're recording yeah. right now on your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Did you have you. the most magical day ever? Of course not. I have a kid now, so she had the most magical day. Uh, <laughs> Did you give her cake? I yet? was just along for the ride. Yeah, dude. They tell you not to feed them, but I give her like a lot. <laughs> She's tried a lot. I'm kidding. Child Protective Services, I'm joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you? Uh, I sent you all the cameos via email. Did you get those? Yes. Oh, I've watched them no less than 76 times. Uh, the only thing I've watched more in the past week is Beyond the Glass, Dave's documentary. We'll, we'll talk about Beyond the Glass in a minute. Did you watch them 76 times? Just Kelsey Ray, and that was because your wife can't have sex yet, right? Oh, 100%. <laughs> were you going to fly on my wall, Scott? <laughs> oh, we, we were doing it together. Uh, I, I wasn't even watching. I just listened. <laughs> we were doing it together. I just want to say, like, I'm really... I What you did for Chris's birthday episode... So, so amazing. I can't wait to see what you do tonight. What's tonight? It's not Sarah's birthday is in like January. Nick's is September. What's tonight? Tonight's my birthday episode. Cause this episode is going to oh come out. Oh my gosh. With my birthday. Did you forget about my birthday? Oh. My God. You didn't do um, anything for your own son's birthday. You're, oh you're on the episode. Wait, Scott's your dad. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot he's a girl dad, so he forgot that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I even know. I thought this was like a bit. I thought no, it was a bit. No, it, actually, next week is I my birthday. You were an abductee or something. <laughs> oh no! How? What? What? When's your birthday, Darren? Uh, I will not say. It's uh, next Thursday. Next Thursday. So this is indeed your uh, birthday episode. Wow! So this would definitely be no, no. Yeah, this would definitely because this is releasing. Uh, yeah, I uh, carry the two. Yeah, yep. Yeah, this is definitely- you really, you really fucking got him three goddamn cameos, and you can't <laughs> even have anything for my birthday. Well, it's because he bought you a brand new car. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I let you. Uh, you're on the episode tonight. Happy birthday! What's next? You're going to tell me you're actually going to miss my birthday, and you're going to you have plans to go ride a new attraction on my birthday without me? Uh, oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> uh, so <laughs> I do have. Uh, my annual pass preview for Tiana's Bayou Adventure that evening. On uh, on Darren's birthday. Just clarify on Darren. Aaron, uh, oh, so you're going to take Darren? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're taking me to. That's Tiana, awesome! Right? What a good gift. Um, Get your beignet. So Wait, you're not. What? Wait a second! You're not taking it. He's an, he could have gotten his own preview. He's an annual pass holder. I thought he was getting his own. Preview. You didn't tell me to get my own preview. You got a I'm preview on my holder. You got a preview on my birthday. You didn't even tell me that about it, and you're going without me on my actual physical birthday. This is really awkward. Wow. You're Can we dick. talk about my mental health again? Uh, um, you're, you're doing it, it, it looks like you're doing it to yourself, Scott. I'm not going to feel bad anymore. <laughs> um, would you like to go to McDonald's? We could have a fun party <laughs> McDonald's. at McDonald's. They, I heard they throw great offer. parties. McDonald's. They have really good toys right now. <laughs> they, they do have really good toys. They have really good toys. Chris has every all of them. I have all but three. I already have all the chicken nuggets that I need. They're on my desk right now. Why Why the fuck would I need more McDonald's toys? Okay, you know listen. what I want? You know what Watch I want? This. A father who loves me on my birthday. <laughs> 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 that is so unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are your other two wishes, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> I need, oh. Honestly, I didn't even know you existed for the last two years. So. Yeah, I know. You're a girl dad. I forgot. Sorry. I am a girl dad. <laughs> Not only did he mistakenly say that, he doubled down on it. He makes me think it wasn't mistakenly saying it. He was serious. Yeah. Chris, I like 20 down on it. Uh, I, that's all I say yeah, is that I I'm a girl dad. Yeah, yeah. You might as well just mail him that hat because he just I doesn't know, even acknowledge my existence. And I'm in like three rooms over from him right now. He's <laughs> on the West Wing. Yeah, right? literally. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Anyway. Anyway, thanks for having me on. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy birthday. <laughs> Darren is almost unnoticeable as a child as that poster is in your background. Is that an actual poster on your well, wall? My? What? We got a light switch. That? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. yeah it's it's a is, that a. is that a light switch? No, it's a Muppet Vision 3D little like postcard poster. Why did you? <laughs> 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 it looks like it's seventy five feet behind you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's tiny. It's tiny. Do they sell frames that small? Yeah, they do. It's really yeah. cute, actually. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's for a dad. I think he starts putting it on a desk, though. I don't know if it's it, supposed to go on a wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Beatles you sign all over yeah. again. <laughs> I think it just right. I think just aspect ratio, uh, like um, <laughs> deficiency. Right. Runs There's a family. lot of confusion. Though. Why does he have it like an empty? He's got like an empty frame on the, the like. I know, you still need stressor. to hold it up closer. Yeah. It's that small. <laughs> what is that? A poster for ants? <laughs> Yeah. So you so so it's a postcard because your dad won't buy you a poster. You had to buy a, a dollar postcard because your dad yeah. won't get you anything nice. Yeah, he can't even do. Wow. Yeah. Do you even That's know when my insane. birthday is? What day? What 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 day is my birthday? It's Thursday. Yeah. What day? What like what what is the date? What year was it? Not Sarah, not this you year. Got kids, like, right? Year was. Um. Yeah, and I know when they were born. <laughs> oh my god. Um, June. Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Do you think we're 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 <laughs> March or we're May thirtieth right now? And you think my birthday is Juneteenth? Juneteenth. That could be any of the teens, actually. I've right? covered half of the, not, a third of the month. Well, yeah. That's not even next week, it's guys. Even, it's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, this has been the Media Friends podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, of course I know your birthday. It's June 6th. Oh. oh, you do know. I do and know. And you still made plans. I do know. What? 
And you stole my plants on my birthday. <sighs> okay, what actually, actually pe- peeling back the curtain, he like a month ago was like, oh, your birthday is like one of the only birthdays I'll have off for like the three kids. So he was like, oh, make sure you get it off. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'll take it off, but uh, sure, I'll request it off. I'll request it off. So I got it off and I was like, hey, I'm so excited. I got my birthday off. And he was like, I have Tiana's. And, and and I said, would you like to come with me? I, you know, no, that is not that is not how that conversation went. <laughs> Bullshit. You're like, Bullshit. Oh, no, you, you, you want to get into you want to get into that right now? Because you were like, hey, I would love to. You were like, hey, Abby's not been to a preview besides Moana. And I want to make sure that Rachel has the opportunity to go if she wants to go. Because oh. you said because yeah, oh. you, you could only bring because you said you couldn't go. I didn't say I couldn't go. I said I got my birthday off. I literally said, hey, I got my oh. birthday off. And you were like, hey, T. Oh, good for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Are you also taking off <laughs> from work on your birthday? <laughs> I am taking off work from my birthday. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> this is great. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for this is a great boost of confidence for me. Well, I have I have a, I have a birthday present for you. Oh, oh OK. This is all a bluff. You guys Do I ready? need to change the screens? Or are you joking? You guys ready for travels and tribulations? <laughs> <laughs> Today's edition of Travels and Tribulations is sponsored by the Garfield movie, which now has a 37% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's the film that critics are saying lacks creativity and originality. And the words don't even seem like an attempt at comedy. <laughs> no new friends, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Shall it bring with the gentleman rings on travels and tribulations? So apparently the Remy's Roundtable theme song is copywritten, which I didn't realize when I included it in my segment Shocker. last week. That means that Scott's lost out on a 35 cents, which means, yes, I am now trying to raise a 35 cents to give to my least favorite person on my least favorite podcast on the planet, which is why I've taken on a sponsor, the Garfield movie. If on everything I've read about the character, I initially thought the film was about Chris, but oh I God. ended up finding out that it's actually one of the worst animated films that I've seen recently. Anyways, the good folks at the Garfield movie starring Chris Pratt have sent me to the house of President James A. Garfield. (laughs) Now, President Garfield was assassinated, and I don't know what that means for Chris, seeing as how similar to Garfield he is, but... We interrupt your regularly (laughs) scheduled program for some breaking news in the world of baseball. Famed umpire Angel Hernandez has announced his retirement. However, there are theories that he is in fact being threatened to resign. We asked a man nearby (laughs) what he could tell us. Same thing goes for you too, Angel Hernandez. If you listen to this broadcast, stay home, clip your coupons, send people to get your groceries. Do not go out in public or you will be shot. I'm not kidding. And that's not concerning at all. Angel Hernandez over there, he's running faster than Chris when he hears that there's a free lunch around the corner. We continue to keep you briefed on this hostage situation, uh, this retirement situation. But until then, let's return to your regularly scheduled program. Please send a ransom of a 35 cents to Mr. Scott Maffei and he will release me safe and unharmed. If you do not do as he asks within... Five days, you will not be hearing from me again. And be sure to call Remy's Roundtable at 407 536 7153 for a free candle and a free t shirt. Why does the person who's kidnapped me refer to black and white movies as white and white movies? So, so much to unpack there. So on the last episode of Remy's Roundtable, he said for everybody, he's, he's figured out how to take phone calls. Um, how Remy did that before we did, I don't know. He but- actually threw shade at you too for it. I don't know if you're watching live. <laughs> because like, I can't believe Scott doesn't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I found out how to do this before Scott did. <laughs> Listen, if Remy can figure it out, then I can probably get it next week. So, so <laughs> what I do know is that don't offer a free gift for everyone who calls because then people are going to band together and bankrupt you. 
Uh, <laughs> I want to know how many people called Remy's Roundtable because there was definitely some uh, collusion going on for everybody to call. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm curious to know. So also that Christian Cardoza from the uh, Studio 21, the baseball podcast, that soundbite of him saying Angel Hernandez will be shot <laughs> never gets old. Now, here's the funny thing. Angel Hernandez, um, a controversial uh, umpire from the uh, Major League Baseball um, <clears throat> has retired. He was a terrible umpire. So, of course, highlight or low light reels are now uh, trending. Oh, yeah. So I keep tagging uh, <laughs> Christian and Jared every single time. And I go, here you go. Here you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Um, anyway. So funny. That was a really funny uh, Travels and Tribulations. And, and it's funny, too. I told him, I was like, hey, just let you know, Remy's Roundtable uh, theme song, Shocker, is copywritten. And uh, he's like, I had no idea. What a shock. And I said, that's all right. I'm going to edit it out. That way I don't miss out on the 35 cents. He goes, oh, I'll, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. And I was like, okay. Is it, is it, what? Isn't it the um, Marvel Superhero Island theme? <laughs> hey, so the, funny no, I think I think his I think his theme song is from like because he plays the Marvel Superhero Island theme every every episode. <laughs> Remy, please chime in. Did you record this from Universe? <laughs> He, wa he walked up to a speaker by Spider-Man and just put his phone up there. <laughs> Did you buy the CD and then burn the CD? Oh, it's, he said not anymore. Oh. So, Chris. But was it? Yes. Something very exciting happened to me this week. Oh, and good. I have to share it with you. I, I would like to know. So, uh, yesterday was uh, TikTok Wednesday. Right. And we went to Epcot. Now, you did. the reason why Nick is not here is because Nick and Sean and Piper surprised me and we're in town this week. Okay. So he did text me pictures that he was with you and stuff. And I was just like, oh, that's awesome. Because I, I just figured that he, they, they, he said he told us before and I just didn't remember because he just always oh, going on vacation every other week. <laughs> right, so, I did right, not right, act, right. so I did not act like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I was just like, oh, great. No, I didn't know till Tuesday and Tuesday we went to uh, Disney Springs awesome. and, and uh, it was super fun to hang out with them. And then um, Sarah and Lewis and their girls joined us at Epcot uh, later in the day. So it was this big thing and my phone overheated. So I had to end the stream early. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. You should buy a neck fan for your phone. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want a neck fan, just check out our TikTok Todd shop. It's right there. TikTok Todd. TikTok. How are your girls, Sarah? They're good. They're hmm, they're little teenagers. Like they felt fine and comfortable around Scott? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, actually, actually, Scott, I have to tell you that we were driving home today and my oldest looked at me and goes, um, so when are we hanging out with Abby again? Because oh, I want to get so together cool. with Abby again. Oh, they so they nice. did the phone number exchange and everything. Oh, so uh, wow. they had a yeah. they had a really good time together. Are they are they similar in age? The uh, yeah, the their their yeah. oldest is the same age as Abby. Yeah, the different oh. grades. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. their oldest just graduate graduated. There was a big ceremony and everything. Pomp and circumstance. They had Harrison Butker uh, speak <laughs> at their commencement. Um, <laughs> two hours long, might as well have. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> He's teaching them at a very young age that the women should just stay in the kitchen. Um, sure. yeah. Holy so, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, she's in fifth grade and then Abby is uh, starting or just finished sixth grade. So, oh, that's awesome. But they're, yeah, the same age. I bet you're real excited about that. About what? Well, that her daughter is graduating for fifth grade. You can attend another fifth grade graduation. What? Because <laughs> you like kids. <laughs> <laughs> God. So, okay. Alex, cut that. <laughs> Just the awkward silence. <laughs> Alex isn't editing this week. I am. Um, no, he is. Tonight. <laughs> oh. So yeah, Alex cut that. This is what happened. This is what had happened. Scott cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone cut it. Uh, and our producer, Alex. Finally, I've been quiet this whole time. It's me, Alex. Uh, so, Alex, if you're editing that, put that at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> so, so we we get in line for Frozen, and there was some sort of confusion, some kerfuffle, if you will. Between, oh, the ride, not margaritas. No. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no, but it, the kerfuffle <laughs> was between Lewis and Sarah. 
What? I know. Yeah. There was. So it was a kerfuffle. You can't even say fight because it's empty. You have to say kerfuffle. I don't know. <laughs> I saw flames out of Sarah's really? ears. Yes. Yeah, she was, was it like she stop blowing our cover? They can't know we're in Witsec? I, as soon as I saw Scott's face, I was like, oh, crap. There because, it is. Now he knows. <laughs> cover blow. This is what happened. This is what happened. It's, it's going to be a very visual thing. Okay. So I see Sarah on the phone and then I, okay. I see one of these moves where she goes, <sighs> like Uh-oh. the phone gets dropped and Uh-oh. I was like, and and this was me this was me what? Uh, was, did you catch Lewis <laughs> watching Kelsey Ray in the forest? <laughs> no. I, I like, I like, I was in the back of, of our group. She was in the front and I saw it and I was right next to her, right up in her face going, what's going on, Sarah? Yeah. What yeah. happened? <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, microphone and everything. So I, I've got the audio <laughs> recording that I'm going to play right <laughs> So Sarah, what happened? Uh, so oh, put it on the spot. Uh, I know, I know. So Scott has set up the day for everybody. Okay, with what you get, Genie's Plus and Lightning Lane and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, the, the usual, the Genie the Plus. I, I, yeah, I do it every Wednesday for all of us that we don't have to wait in lines. Uh, yeah. So I was trying to figure out how to coordinate everything with him and. And everybody else. And Lewis had to go to the because guest ex- I, I had oh. gotten everybody like the Genie Plus. Nick and Sean and Piper had theirs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Darren, Abby, and I had ours, but I didn't have access to their daughters' accounts to set up Genie Plus mm-hmm. for them. So it was kind of like every little family was on their own. Yes. So I was trying to coordinate what they were doing. So. Lewis had to go up to see somebody at the guest experience, a uh, little yes. umbrella. Okay. Well, we were getting into the line, which is going inside, going inside. And I'm calling him and I'm trying to figure out where he is. And he's told me at this point that he had to go to the Japan pavilion, apparently, which is... Which is- all the way across the park. Exactly. And I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, why are you, why'd you go so far away? First of all, we found out later there was one a lot closer that had I just said something to Sky, he probably would have told me about. Yeah, we passed but, it four times on the way back and forth from Mexico to Future World. I didn't even notice it, but we didn't ask either. So I I was frustrated because I kept you telling him it's it because okay. Because you loaded up on the marijuana. <laughs> no, no, that's because that's because actually Sean texted me in in, in the middle of the morning and was like, um, "I want tequila." And it does not feel right to have tequila without you here. So when are you getting here? So that was you actually with the tequila stop beforehand. I did that. Yeah. You wanted to go into Mexico. Wasn't that right? I wanted to go into Mexico with the tequila. Oh, you were just a follower in that situation. I I was just a follower. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, then it's his fault. But I was getting, it was a mixture of, I think, the heat and the tequila and the fact that I told my husband he didn't have to walk so far away and then proceeded to walk to the other side of the park to do something that didn't even have to be done the entire time. Cut out, Sarah. Did you say you were in heat? (laughs) (laughs) That look, that look that she just gave. Is that what the look was when she put the phone down? That was the look that she gave Lewis. Yes. And if you want to see that look, make sure you yeah. watch us on the YouTube every single That's week. That's why she was pissed. She was in heat. She's like, the kids are here. Like, what are like, we can't just leave the kids. Chris, <laughs> God damn it. Four times they were looking for the family restroom. They're like, can you watch our girls from it? I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, no. I'm spraying them down. No. I, th- I, think, I think I did mention it a few times. And then Nick leaned over to me and he's like, can we find the family bathroom <laughs> <laughs> Nick we just left yeah, oh, yeah. it's like Nick I'm good for once a day that's it <laughs> <laughs> you're almost in your 40s you'll know what it's like <laughs> oh, yeah. so anyway back to you and heat Sarah <laughs> no, that was it. Listen, I I was frustrated momentarily, and and then he made it back, and we found out it was it really was all a wasted trip, and I was right the whole time. So, I uh, I, I mean I was uh, fine, and my husband is a trooper, so um you know I I think he was fine too. 
she's downplaying this because uh, what I saw, and and again, I was fueled by Bud Light and uh, <laughs> avocado margarita. I saw like a a throwdown where she's like. Ah. The eye rolling. She was frustrated. She's like, I just don't understand. And then he came back. Like, obviously, there was a fight going on via text because he came back with his tail between his legs. And he's like, Mia Moore, I'm sorry. Mia Moore, I'm no, sorry. No, no, Mia no, 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 no. Actually, actually, I, 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 have, to, like I have to clarify something. No, he definitely does. And it's way better than that. Yeah. No, um, yeah. But I do. Sorry, Scott. I do have to clarify, Green though, Gully. that. <laughs> um the the furious phone gestures that was me trying really really hard to get that guardians of the galaxy virtual cube <laughs> like i was uh, i was also incredibly frustrated because <laughs> that, well, that, you know what that was a big part of it because i wanted to go on that ride so bad and they had a pass to go that's my favorite theme park ride okay and lewis was trying to go somewhere to get a pass to go on it and i was trying to explain to him that i was currently doing it and he was walking to the other side of the park to do something i was literally in line doing so i was furiously refreshing my page and finally because i was scared while we were getting further into this building i was going to lose service and that was it chances over and I did actually get it. So that's what the the phone was for. I will correct that. And we got the best song. So it was all worth it. Um, <sighs> it's to each their own, I suppose. <laughs> Here's a really funny thing, Chris. So um, all of this is over the Genie Plus, the Lightning Lane, the DAS, just all this stuff. At one point, she looks at her daughter and says, hope you had a great graduation. Was it fun? <laughs> like, did you feel like you got something out of it? And I'm like, wow. Wait, she did say that. <laughs> she did say that. She I did. did. Yeah, you did. It Sarah. was over lunch. That's, that's it was satire. over lunch. What? Wait, what? Now it I don't was remember. Actually, said that to you. It was said definitely that over lunch. You looked at her and she's like, someone had to graduate today. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> But we, I, they knew I was kidding. I don't, maybe I did say it like that, but they knew I was kidding. <laughs> I don't know. She's like, for two hours, we sat there. I hope you had fun. Did you get a lot I out of it? I didn't say oh. all that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yes. Oh, you did. Sarah, you did. Unfortunately. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'm leaving. All right. Camera <laughs> off. <laughs> Listen, you got a leg up. At least they didn't smack into a moving or a, a, a truck or anything or swallow a, a battery. So I don't think that <laughs> is what you got a leg up means. <laughs> that means that you had an advantage. Like, yeah, that, she's a better parent. That that's not okay. You're not making it sound like, like it. Parent. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> no, yeah, the leg up thing is not. That's what's on your mind, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> No, leg up is what Sarah and Lewis were doing in the bathroom. Whoa! <laughs> Jeez. TMI, dude. This is a family podcast. <laughs> Clearly, it's a but podcast it... for making families. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Yeah, but you can't even remember your own, so. <laughs> <laughs> or tearing them apart. <laughs> oh, man. I have a question about uh, general hygiene with toothbrushing, if that's okay. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So uh, Sarah just brought up how her, her girls need to brush their teeth before they go to sleep. I don't do that. Not because I don't want to, just I don't want to. But <laughs> I have this thing. I guess it is because I don't want to. So I have this thing where I brush my teeth in the shower. And I saw that some people think that's gross because Kelly Clarkson came out and said she brushes her teeth in the shower. And people think that's gross. So. Okay. Well, here it might be the gross part, but I don't think it's gross. So before I get in the shower, I don't have access to the medicine cabinet from the shower because it's across the bathroom. So I put the toothpaste on my toothbrush. I wet it. You know, I do the thing. I wet my toothbrush first. Do you guys put the toothpaste on and then wet it or wet the toothbrush and then put the toothpaste on? I, I have special toothpaste, so I have to. No, wait. you don't. Okay, first of all, I this is there's a lot to unpack here. Sarah's <laughs> Sarah, we're on the same page here, right? Like, this is a lot to unpack. It, it, well, so not, I'm going to throw okay, you oh off. Gosh. I'm going to throw you off. I do it before and after. Okay. It's not as weird as I think what we're about to hear. Okay. So you so you wet your toothbrush, 
put the toothpaste on, then wet it again. Yes. Right? Yes. It's not horrible. So I wet my toothbrush first, get it wet. Then I put the toothpaste on. Right. And then I'll, I, I will get into what I do after that. But I first I have to hear what Scott and Darren do, because I am very concerned. I put the toothpaste on the toothbrush and I go yeah. for it. Really? <laughs> What's that wrong is, with that? I don't like a soggy pre-crime. toothbrush. That's a pre that's pre crime. Why is like, it pre crime? I could see like um, I, 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 I could see serial killer Scott Maffei <laughs> put his toothpaste on the toothbrush without water, which is a sign of. Pedophilia. I, I, that's like you liked your gums are probably like bloody a bloody mess after, and not like a bloody's in a UK term is like a very like like it's literally blood. Like you probably, <laughs> I mean, sometimes, um, yeah, because but, you don't wet your toothbrush. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's because I'm a smoker, you, so my gums are probably infected. I um no, I think it's because you 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 raw dog your your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't like the soggy the soggy bristles. That's just do you do you even rinse it off after? Oh, one hundred percent, I do very okay. well. Do you guys brush your tongue? Like your tongue brushes? Uh, no, really, I got to brush my tongue. Why? Oh, I deep throat the shit out of my toothbrush. <laughs> Fuck. I, I I I don't stop until I gag because that's that's when you know that Same you got Sarah. it on the spot. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So, okay. So that would have been a perfect attack on Mary, but she's not here. So I, you would yeah, I'm sorry, Sarah. What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> so I wet my toothbrush and toothpaste. Sarah wets her toothbrush. So I wet my toothbrush and then I put the paste on, right? Mm-hmm. And then when I brush my teeth, I take my toothbrush and I don't care. So Scott, you don't put anything, any water in your toothbrush. No. Darren, you said you use special toothpaste? Yeah, I have a special uh, whitening toothpaste that if I wet the toothpaste, it'll like dissolve. So I have to I have to okay. wet the toothbrush before. You wet the bristles first. Yeah, and then I they put the toothpaste right. on and I just put it in my mouth. That's, yeah. I, right. that's I definitely don't get it wet before I use it. That's wow. what wow. I also don't wet my toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what I do, what I do is so I when I brush my teeth in the shower, what I do is I I get the toothbrush ready. I wet the toothbrush. I put the toothpaste on, then I put it on the back of the back of the toilet, right? No. Like on the on like no, listen, <laughs> not the part that you sit on, like the, on top of the tank, right? Okay, right. And I put it there, brush my teeth in the shower, then I'll put it back on the tank of the toilet. And sometimes I forget it. Sometimes it just sits there, right? Sometimes on it just sits on the back of the to- back back of the toilet, right? And Emily says, "That's gross. It is gross." I'm like, "So w- would you like me to put it three feet to the left in the toothbrush holder? What's the difference? I'm not shitting." And then looking for the the handle to flush the toilet, like all of her, oh, oh, and then like the, the, touching my toothbrush. You splash. Have you ever, have you never what? seen like the backside of a urinal with the splash marks everywhere? I don't have a urinal in my but bathroom. I have a toilet. I shut the seat. My ass is on a toilet seat when I flush or the toilet like, seat's and down. And it definitely splashes if like, if you're trying to pressure wash the little, the, the streak marks on the, the pressure the toilet, wash. Yeah, you come what on. Have you okay, ever like it. left a streak? You have you ever left a streak? I'm not splashing that high. I'm not that. You don't down. pressure wash with your stream. I know I do. First of all, I have a very good like my my I have a very good uh, lineup with the hole in my toilet that I usually just shit right in the same place. <laughs> Uh, so it goes right into the little hole, or I just well, have diarrhea. Yeah, it does. I usually just yes. have diarrhea. Honestly, I usually just have diarrhea, and it just uh, there's no oh, streaks. Okay. But <laughs> usually just diarrhea. No, I have a self cleaning so, toilet, Scott. I bought a self cleaning toilet. Uh, okay, that's what it said. Wait, anyway. wait, 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 but self cleaning toilet. No, just, self. No, <laughs> take out the self cleaning. Just toilet. Just, okay, toilet. You, you toilet. You said it right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. It was some, just fast. Sometimes. Yeah. If if the 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 movement is a little bit longer and as it's flushing and goes around the bowl, it leaves streak marks on the yeah, bowl. No, 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 I get that. No, I get that. I mean you pressure wash with the with the pee. Yeah. I'm five foot six. I don't have much room to splash. <laughs> well, <you're, down. laughs> like, I don't think I understand. I don't I can't use a urinal so because I can't, probably better. Then the pressure, it goes right in, listen. I also a silent pee. I pee on the on the porcelain, not into the water. That's what I'm talking about. You pressure wash right. on the porcelain. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, on the I, porcelain. I can't pee in the water because I don't want anybody to hear it. No, no, no. You can't. Even my wife. Yeah. No, 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 uh, no. I'm yeah, with no, you. No, she can't know I pee. I and, sometimes turn, uh, turn the sink on. <laughs> oh, I usually run the shower. <laughs> yeah, I did you not. Um, 
I, I my my water bill is ridiculous because my shower <laughs> runs like ninety percent of the time. Are, are anybody uh, shower peers? Oh, what do you mean? Am I shower peer? That's just, if you're a human being, you pee in the shower. Sarah, I have before. I yeah. I don't oh, so I don't I mean I mean yes, but not. I don't do oh, it. I, I don't do it habitually, but if you have to, oh, as soon as that hot water hits my back, even if I've just peed, I have to pee oh, yeah. again. Yeah, it's like magic. Yeah, I, I feel like David Blaine in the shower because it's like I just peed. How am I peeing again? Where did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> and then when you mushroom stomp your poop down the drain in the in the shower, no, 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 no. That's <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I told you I have diarrhea most of the time. I'll just stop it there. No, I'm totally kidding about that too. No one poops in the shower. <laughs> we here at the Mandy Friends Podcast do not poop or condone pooping in the shower. This is just a joke. <laughs> no, the first time I heard somebody talking about mushroom stomping, I thought I found it hilarious. I was like, what's a mushroom stuff? Like, oh, when you get the poop down the down the drain. It's like, I hope that's not a real term. Like, I hope that it's not something. But anyway, back to the brushing of the teeth. Waffle stomp. <laughs> anyway, back to the back. <laughs> <laughs> but, but at that point it'd be more like the like play-doh my first waffle set you know it, it. <laughs> this is why scott's not a foot guy um, <laughs> but anyway back to brushing teeth so <laughs> so uh again five foot six sarah not a lot disgusted of, by the way not a lot of room for splash <laughs> I, I, I i kid you not we talk about like going to the bathroom and and uh handicappedness and going to the bathroom disabled um disabled nah i can't say disabled it's handicapped uh, because when i go into a bathroom i can't use most urinals because they're too tall <laughs> which <laughs> they i'm the not even kidding one. i usually like sometimes they do so, but I won't use one unless there's a divider, and I'm not a big urinal guy anyway. I'm a big stall guy. Oh, if there's Huge no divider, I, mm-hmm. no, 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 absolutely not. I love the ones that go all the way up to the ceiling. Yes, you can just like pull down your pants all the way. <laughs> but it's got to have a door. Do they really have urinals without dividers? Yes, yes it's yes. disgusting. It's sometimes total. there's troughs. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes there's like, troughs. It, it's not sometimes even there's troughs. There's not even separate urinals. It's just one yeah. urinal. It's just a trough. That, that's it's like ridiculous. I, when I when I go into a bathroom and I see a trough and I see men just peeing there, I just look. I'm like, maybe I'm gay. I think I might be. I, I don't think. <laughs> what? I don't think. How do we Because go, it's like. How do we go from brushing your teeth no, because, to being gay? <laughs> because it's like, I think I'm in touch with that side of myself. I think that <laughs> when I see that, it's like, I don't like, like if this is if this is the if this is the stereotypical man. If you can go up and stand next to another man and pee, and that's a stereotypical man, I don't think I am. I think I'm the non-stereotypical man. I think I am in touch more with my feminine side. Because I also sit down when I pee. I also sit down when I oh, pee. Oh, I sit down that's when I pee. That's also why I can't use urinals. Okay, that's also a joke. So we just out it. Scott, sit down <laughs> we, we've talked about this before. Which is fine. You're 40. I mean, I, I do both. I do, I, you know, I do, I do both. Wait, is he 45? I wish Nick was here because do gay people like the trough? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call him. I this can't, is a really good question. I can't stand when people talk to me while I'm on the urinal. I feel, I feel like now that I'm thinking, nah, if I can't be at a trough urinal, maybe it's because I'm just so straight. Right? <laughs> I'm sure that's it. <laughs> <laughs> We really need. I, I, you don't realize how much you miss Nick until we have conversations like this. And it's like, this is exactly what we're missing from this episode. Agreed. But anyway, so you guys don't think brushing your teeth in the shower is gross? Uh, it depends. No. Like, you have to have a lot of control over that because I don't want, and I don't have hair. So, it really, would, yeah, but like, right. you have very long, disgusting, homeless person hair. So Medium hair. Eh, it's been cut. If the water is going Smoothing. through the hair and then onto your toothbrush and in your mouth, why would I be brushing my teeth while under the water? Now that's just weird. Wait, so why I would did, I, I, I? You got it. You got to paint a picture, and I want you to okay. paint the whole picture. I of will. How you're brushing your your teeth? Sure, sure. In the shower, I uh. So I I I wet the I wet the thing. It's sitting on the back of the toilet. I I, I uh. I'm done gambling for you know. I, I I usually I go into the bathroom. You know, go to the, I'm using the using the restroom. And as soon as I get into the bathroom, I turn on the water. Right. Uh, I guess as soon as I enter the bathroom. Yeah. And I did want to talk about, I, I did want to talk, and no, I, I, I do a cold, so I don't run out of hot water. Okay. What? 
Um, I, I found myself recently taking hour and a half long showers, right? Hour and a half long. Yes. How are like, you not a prune? Because I'm not in there that long. <laughs> that's your, okay. me, that's your me time. But when though. I tell, but when I tell Emily, I'm taking a shower, it takes an hour and a half. I don't realize it until two hours later. Cause sometimes, you know, like I'm in the bathroom for an hour, then, you know, getting dressed for a half hour, you know, doing whatever, finishing up. So I've, I've, I've found this. But okay. So we have a kid now. And it's like, no shit. When, <laughs> really? when do I have me time? Right. Just, just me, just me. Hold on, right? Darren, Darren, this is what we're now going to have to deal with for the next 18 years. He's going to have to remind us he's got a kid. It's like you reminded oh, us about enough. his Achilles. Attack. Was the hat not enough? <laughs> I wore the hat for you. Can I get one yeah. of those? Oh gosh, Emily's in the chair. <laughs> Okay, I, 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 I meant to. Okay, so I didn't know Emily was going to be listening to the episode. I meant to tell her and Alex or whoever's editing you is cut this out of the episode. This is satire. This is satire. Mostly. <laughs> so. Okay, so. End her scene. So now these showers are taking extra, extra long. It's the only time I have to myself, right? Back when COVID was around, this was my escape. Uh, you know, just the shower, everyone's home. So it's like, well, how can I leave and not be disturbed? I can't leave the house. I got to go to the bathroom. Got to take a shower. This is my routine. I go into the bathroom, immediately turn the water on, but not the hot water because I don't want to waste the hot water. Don't want to waste the good. I turn on the cold water just to hear the sound. Just because when the water's running, very hard for anybody to ask you for anything, right? Mm. Like that's the best now though. Listen, that's the best excuse for anything is I'm, I'm about to get in the shower. I'm in the shower or I just got out of the shower is the best excuse for anything. Nobody wants to talk to you or ask anything from you when you're about to get in the shower or if you're in the shower. Not it's true. When I know you you're in bad. the shower, I FaceTime you right away. That is true. We have, I, I, I love talking in the shower and I don't even preface like when I open up, when I, when I like answer the phone, I don't even preface it by saying, Hey, just let you know I'm in the shower. Cause everybody who I talk to in the shower just knows when they hear the, <laughs> In the background, they just know it's the shower. I don't know if that came through. <laughs> so anyway, uh, go into the bathroom, turn on the water, uh, use the restroom. But I only use the restroom for like five minutes. But sitting on the actual toilet takes about 45 minutes. because That's how long it takes for me to uh, start and stop my casino session <laughs> okay. on my online yeah, casino app. Yeah. Right. After I lose about three or four hundred dollars, I cry for 10 minutes. Uh, think how am I going to raise a kid? My account is overdrawn. What am I going to do? And then after I go through a self, uh, you know, like a crisis through that, I then get, then I, uh, then I adjust the temperature of the shower to get hot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then go into a bath, go into the shower, stand out of the hot water, contemplate. Why did I just lose $400 in an online casino? I just lost $400 yesterday. I couldn't really afford to lose $400 again today. And the day before that I lost 300. So I'm down over one K. <laughs> So what am I going to do? I had $300 in my bank account. What am I going to tell Chase Bank when they say there's negative $600 in my bank account? How am I going to pay my bills tomorrow? So you're worried about Chase Bank. What, what about what are you going to tell your wife? She doesn't have to know. What she doesn't know won't kill her. No, seriously. Like, if you don't tell someone something, it doesn't exist. Like aliens, right? We were told about aliens. They don't exist. Mm -hmm. We're told about them. Then we don't have to worry. So anyway, uh, it's a classic just government politician thing to do, Scott, right? It doesn't exist if it doesn't happen. So, uh, okay. So I'm in the shower contemplating what do I do? And for about like 15 minutes under the really scolding hot water, because I still can't get the temperature right. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm only down $300 a day. Let me just put a hundred more dollars in. Cause I, can, I should be able to get this all back. And then I'm like, let me change from slots to blackjack. I go on blackjack while I'm in the shower now, lose a hundred more dollars usually. And oh then my God. And then think, okay, this was not a good idea. Rinse and repeat the next day. You just gotta keep going. But then I start washing. Swimming. And then I start washing. And my phone's usually, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. My phone's usually like 23% by now. <laughs> so I do have to put, charge it. Uh, and um, so anyway, all this takes, that's what I'm trying to say is all this takes time. Mm -hmm. And I can't do it if I'm, I really can't do this stuff if I'm raising a child, right? So I have to do this stuff while I'm in the bathroom. Okay. I can't, I can't get rich in the casino if i'm rocking a baby to sleep i've tried and i lose the money quicker um so like but listen uh, i don't know i finished ending. an entire season of uh nba 2k uh 2000 uh when i was supposed to be rocking my son <laughs> ha happy ending to yeah, all yeah mr i didn't hold my son for th like three days <laughs> after he was born 
I get that happy ending at the end of the shower. And then also he's got a happy ending to the story. This is true. No, there's been no happy endings after the shower, Scott. I'm very depressed. No. So (laughs) the, so at three days, it was $300, $400, and then maybe another $400. So I'm down $1,100, right? After three days, happy ending on the fourth day. Usually this is what happens. I hit on the slots for like 1200 bucks. I'm up $50 for the, for the week. And then we're good. (laughs) So it all comes around. You just have to keep going until you hit for that. And uh, what I do have to say is that if you are experiencing hitting for $1,200 and not feeling joy, but just relief, please call that number. They tell you to call (laughs) (laughs) because when you (laughs) you hit for $1,200, you just feel relief. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. (laughs) Anyway, that's why it takes two hours to get a shower. Okay. I thought this was going to go like down to Kelsey Ray. Road, right? and just... Oh, nothing sexual about my showers. It's all very, <laughs> it's all business. It's really all business. It's very, <laughs> it's all business. Uh, you guys ready to play Jersey Man, Florida Man? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Whether flipping a fan boat or crash in a truck, these states are filled with people who suck. So it's time for us to play New Jersey Man versus Florida Every week, Game Master Ryan brings us two news stories. One is from Jersey, one is from Florida. It's up to us to determine which one is which. Take it away, Ryan. Hey guys, this is Ryan coming to you from the No New Friends newsroom located this week in my office. Now, Chris, I'm sorry I didn't get you anything for your birthday, but in all honesty, I didn't know it was your birthday till an hour before the episode, (laughs) and I didn't start caring that it was your birthday till like 10 minutes ago. (laughs) So I've been thinking about what I can get you. you And I ended up having this totally original idea that I could get you cameos from your favorite celebrities. So sit back and relax, Chris. These are going to be the best cameos you've ever gotten, not just some cameos of people from TikTok that nobody cares about. Starting off, I got you a cameo from your favorite football player, O.J. Simpson. Take it away, O.J. <laughs> O.J.? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, seems like our O.J. has expired. I was wondering why he was so cheap. I always heard he was making a killing doing these. Anyways, let's move on. So this next cameo I got you from your favorite actress from Six Days, Seven Nights. It's Anne Heche. Anne? Yeah. Anne? Well, I think, oh, wait, wait, wait. She's a, nope, nope, she's not. Well, you know, I don't, I don't like how this is going. You know what, let's move on to, to somebody I know is still alive. This next cameo is from your favorite voice actor and has also been seen on a couple episodes of Cops, Eddie Deason. <laughs> oh, damn. I guess Steve stopped paying the phone bill. Oh, my God. You know one more. We've got one more for you. I have a cameo from your favorite former podcast host, Mary. Oh, well, she didn't show up. She's still staying on brand, apparently. I mean, she's at the ED. You know, Chris, maybe I'll just get you some socks and baby wipes. I know your people always need those kind of things. And you can show them off to your friends down there at the soup kitchen next time you're down there. So while I go find out what size socks fit Hobbit feet, let's get into this week's Florida manager dinner. So for our first story, parents yell racist taunts at a high school girls basketball game. And for our second story, a man is caught on video choking a 10-year-old boy in a park. Oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I, I hate anybody who says, oh, both of those could be scored. <laughs> um, all right. I wasn't even thinking that, but wow, you actually have a point. All right. So you've got the racist at the uh, game and uh, choke hold at the park. Racism, Florida. Okay. Darren, go. I'm going to go chokehold Florida. Ooh. Ooh. Chris. I'm going to go chokehold New Jersey. That's just an average day at a park. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's not Choke. that's not news. That's, that's, not a, that's, news. A, that's a light day. That's a <laughs> chokehold is definitely New Jersey. Racism, Florida. <laughs> thousand percent. All right, let's find out the answers. So our first story is from New Jersey. <laughs> where yes. racist taunts at a New Jersey girls basketball game sparked a man for an apology. Parents shouted racist and derogatory comments at students and were barking at players from a Newark girls high school basketball team during a game. It's an inner city. Now, I know you're expecting (laughs) me to make a joke about Scott being racist, but in all honesty, Scott's told me he's not racist. He treats all racists the same, (laughs) even the bad ones. So that means our second story is from Florida, where in Miami, a man is arrested after police said a video showed him strangling a 10-year-old at a Florida park over Memorial Day weekend. 
Now, I can't show you the video because this is a podcast, but I do have audio from the video. <laughs> Are you little? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's from something else. And in other news, a dead humpback whale was found in a mangrove forest in Brazil. I'm not surprised that's no place for a humpback whale to survive. I'm pretty sure they like water. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me this week, guys. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you so much, Ryan. That was really funny. <sighs> <laughs> so I looked up. I wanted to see where this happened. So I looked up. I Googled racist taunts New Jersey basketball game. And there are way too many articles. <laughs> there was a lot of instances in New Jersey for racial slurs. So shame on shame on New shame Jersey. On New for Jersey. That. Um. So we uh, we got new movie posters for our movie room, oh, like these really nice canvas. So they're so awesome. And they're like classic, <laughs> you know, Indiana Jones and the, and the Last Crusade, uh, the Goonies. Is it Justin as, yes. uh, as the uh, it's Justin. Is Justin, it's Justin, the Indiana Jones? That, that would, would be really, really funny. funny. Um, Goonies, Dirty Dancing. Um, so I get to the Jaws one and I'm like, wait a second, I've never seen a poster like this before. Um, it's with a girl in the shark's mouth, which is not the original movie, movie oh. poster. And then also Robert Shaw's name is not up top with Richard Dreyfus and, um, Roy Scheider. It's down at the bottom. I was like, that's weird. And then I looked, it's like, in a, it, mm. there's something in a foreign language at the bottom. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's oh. like a foreign language poster. Like most of it's in English, but it, it was, must've been an overseas release. Cool. Then we get to sure. the Ghostbusters one. I noticed something's missing immediately. Immediately. I, I noticed that Ernie Hudson's missing. And I, oh, I, I, is it, yeah. wait, I'm yes, I look at right? Rachel. I said, you're okay. racist. Uh, where's Ernie Hudson <laughs> on this poster? <laughs> Not even mentioned in the, uh, the, 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 the credits at the bottom. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. You bought them from a local store? <laughs> uh, somewhere on the internet. Yeah. It was just, it was, it was a joke. Yeah, I know. I get it. Timu. Timu. Yeah. Timu. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, in a couple weeks, uh, about, about about a month, um, Darren and I are going to be missing an episode. Yeah, Darren, both and I? Darren and what, I are going to be missing Darren gonna be? You're taking Darren someone somewhere? Uh, so... Uh, it's always been on a happy birthday. <laughs> happy no, birthday. For, no, for real. For real. <laughs> <laughs> so tired. It's always been bucket list uh, for I've never been to California. Oh, I haven't told you. <laughs> no, that's my bucket list. I'm, pr- I'm oh. praying. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, <clears throat> I've never been to California and, and and I've been talking with Rachel about it and, you know, definitely want to go out to California. So I'm like, Oh, you know, I, I don't know how we're going to make this happen because like Darren usually watches the dog. You don't have a lot of money. (laughs) (laughs) So she's like, well, why don't you guys just go? Wow. That sounds like a trap, by the way. It's like classic. 100%. I'm going to end up divorced (laughs) after this. A Uh, thousand percent. Yes. So in July, Darren and I are going to uh, Disneyland. Uh, wow. We're staying at the Disneyland Hotel. It wasn't Darren's no, this first will, time. This will, this no, will be my third time. This will be Disneyland my third Cherry. time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! So no. you didn't take this your is dad? actually my second time this no, year. He's never taken. Yeah, what? I went. I went in January. <laughs> Alex says it's a weird name for a strip club. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing we're we're doing uh, a day at Disneyland. A day at California. So we, we fly in. Oh, okay. Hold on. So we fly in on, like, I get off of work at like three o'clock on that Sunday. We fly out Sunday night. So oh, we wow. arrive Sunday night. Right after you get off at work. Yeah. It's a long day. I know. I know. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, so then Monday, we're doing Disneyland, rope drop to close. Tuesday, we're doing California Adventure, rope drop to close. Wednesday, we're doing, um, both rope drop to close. Then Thursday, we're going to Universal Hollywood. L- little does my dad oh, know nice that hotel. rope drop to close during the summer is like 7 a.m. to midnight. Disney, Disney, Disneyland does not close <laughs> until midnight. And I'm going to make him run around like a crazy person because he's never been. And we have such we're limited time. Nap in between. I hope they have rocket fuel. Wait, what are those called? 
Uh, fuel rods. Fuel, yeah, they fuel do. Rods. They, fuel do rods. Have, they do have fuel rods. <laughs> fuel rods. Yeah. yeah. Fuel rods. They also have. Really cool. And if you, and if you need a fuel rod, you can uh, <laughs> visit Remy's Roundtable, and he's got a link for those. <laughs> So, yeah, and then we fly back on Friday, which is also the same day that uh, it's Michaela's birthday. So I'm missing Michaela's <laughs> birthday to fly back from California. Oh, so that's these are consistent. two children's <laughs> birthday he's missing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. I, I was told by Abby that I ruined her birthday, too. <laughs> no, you weren't told by Abby. Uh, you saw it on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I saw it on Chapter Snapchat. Yeah, that's that is true. Oh my we're, god! Oh, I cannot um, wait for those. Moments. We're at Epcot yesterday, and I look at uh, and I get a notification, and I see uh, uh, worst birthday ever, and um, I'm like, Abby, you know I follow you on Snapchat, right? Like I'm right next to her, and so yeah, I ruined her birthday. It was a worst birthday ever. Taking her to Disney? No, the, her birthday was Monday. We went over to my sister's and. Went to the pool and apparently she doesn't like to swim anymore. Yeah, it sucks, dude. Mm-mm. Take her a public, no, take it was a public, public pool. pool a no, pool. my sister's pool. Private that's pool. essentially a public pool. It's not hers. Well, that's true. Right? That's true. It, yeah. Chris, when kids get to middle school, I don't care how sweet they were in fifth grade. When they get to middle school, they become terrorists. Yeah, I'm going to go on hiatus for those years. Probably come back you high school. need to. I'm going to need some milk. I'm going to need to go out and get some milk yeah. in middle school. <laughs> There's a spare bedroom over here. Just- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> M- middle school is the worst. Uh, what was the worst thing you ever did in middle school, Sarah, to your parents? Do you remember? Oh, I was just a complete bitch all the time. <laughs> I, I really was. Um, I had such an attitude constantly. That's it. It's 100%. They don't do anything mm-hmm. real bad. They are just assholes. Hmm. Yeah. And they figure out what gets you tick. That's what I did. I figured out what pissed off my parents. And I was a total brat because of that. Oh, much so I have better. To... Much better now. But I'm waiting for that moment, too. It, it's really easy to piss off Scott. There's one word that I have to say, and I could say it in any context. And he's immediately mad as soon as I say it. Is it racist? Whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. <gasps> Chris, you got any cliff notes? Mm. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now I know I just a bluff when my daughter is in middle school. I hate it when you take out the trash. Would you stop <laughs> doing that? Yeah, good luck. No. <laughs> Would you stop keeping your room so clean? I think that might work. Middle school is the absolute mm, worst. No. No. They're going to look at you and and pull out all of the attitude they have and be like, well, I mean, you did tell me that you hated when I did that. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. They and they will do that. They will. Oh, so you don't want me like one time I was like, Abby, you need to go into your room right now. She's like, oh, so you want to starve me then and not feed me dinner? (laughs) Just gaslight the shit oh, out of you. They <laughs> gaslight, oh, they gaslight the hell out of you. It's oh yeah. my god. She, 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 she gaslit me into today into washing a dish for her after she washed the dish for me this morning. <laughs> or she, I, she washed this cup for me this morning, and then I was like, "Hey, can you wash?" Yeah, but hold on. Like, but hold like, on, hold on, hold on. You have a way too. I'll ask Darren to do something, and he'll immediately delegate it to Abby. Yeah, yeah. What did you do <laughs> yesterday? No, 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 no. What did you do yesterday? Rachel asked you to buy five lighters from 7-Eleven. And what did you do? What did you do? I delegated that to you. <laughs> yeah, you delegated it to me. You, I woke up from my nap and was like, oh, well, good morning. When you, te- when you texted from your nap and you said, less texting, more Diet Coke. <laughs> and pick up my five lighters, please. <laughs> it's In a lot the of group lighters. chat. In the group In chat. Group yeah, chat. Yeah, we'll oh, I was. The receipts. Oh, Oh no! Peeling back the curtain, I was I came out. Pissed. He comes downstairs, <laughs> pissed, and I'm, la- I'm I start laughing at him because I'm like, how could this be serious? Right? I was like, is this a bit? Like I literally looked at him and I said, is this a bit? And he's like, no, it's not a fucking bit. I'm pissed. <laughs> and Scott's like, I have a roof over your head. You can't get me on five lighters. <laughs> I'm like, did you enjoy your free lunch at Epcot today? <laughs> Do you enjoy never having to wait in line? 
Yeah, thanks for feeding us today, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one time he fed me in, uh, fed me in the parks, God forbid. Never let you forget it. <laughs> no. uh, before we get to Cliff Notes, we do have to talk about something real quick uh, for like two or three minutes. Everybody needs to check out uh, on the Big Beautiful Diz YouTube channel, Beyond the Glass. Uh, we've been talking about it for a couple weeks, a couple months now, and that's uh, the documentary that Dane put out about the um, uh, the Walt Disney World Animation Studios uh, in that was in uh, MGM Studios slash Hollywood Studios. I watched it. I watched it on my big screen. I watched it on my eighty five inch television. Humble brag. Uh, amazing documentary. At times, I forgot that I was watching a nineteen year old's documentary, and I thought I was watching Disney Plus. So good. Uh, the interviews are amazing. The the editing, the 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 sound, the the music that he picked out, everything was really, really, really good. And I'm I'm so happy that he's got some success with it. Uh, it, it just came out a couple days ago, and it's uh, he's averaging about a thousand views per day. Yeah, a little over, which yeah. is uh, incredible, incredible. So, Dane, congratulations, everybody! Please check that out, and I'll put a link to it in our in our episode description. Uh, it's on the YouTube Big Beautiful Diz. It's beyond the glass. It is absolutely amazing. Now, I, I do want to reiterate what Scott said, but I do want to clarify something. Scott said everyone should check this out. We don't want the support of racists or bigots uh, watching. So you guys, yeah, view don't is a view. It. Oh, wow! Hey, don't forget to uh, dislike this. Uh, stop it! Live stop! No, stop! Oh my god! Please stop! <laughs> hey, like. <sighs> you want to piss me off do that um, whatever scott <laughs> whatever <sighs> yeah whatever <laughs> chris you got any cliff notes i do <laughs> it's been quite the show a lot of stuff's happened so nothing can stop this little boy from recapping the day the chris is cliff's notes way started off the podcast uh we actually didn't start off the podcast we started off the stream um talking about scott's mental health they did not make the episode but we started talking about it um now I, I just wanted to put this out there because um you know you guys didn't hear it and we really didn't give a shit but maybe someone listening will so <laughs> please reach out to him <laughs> oh. yeah if you want to hear God about damn. my mental breakdown uh watch the youtube video <laughs> if you don't just skip like 10 minutes in yeah <laughs> So, so Vicina Gentleman said in a segment that Scott refers to black and white movies as white and white. Now, this is different from when Scott referred to them to me as white and ugh. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> Scott talked about how Sarah and Lewis got into a little tiff at the parks the other day. Uh, it turns out they just got pissed off at each other for fighting over who loved each other the most. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah says she got mad at Lewis because she couldn't find out where he was when he was supposed to be going to guest services. He kept telling her, I'm home, I'm home. Uh, this just got her confused and upset. He was just trying to tell her that he was at the Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah said that she was frustrated momentarily and then realized that she was right the whole time. Now you know what it's like to be Sarah. Uh, now you know what it's like to be Rachel at least 45 times a day. Sarah. <laughs> 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 So the whole gang was at the parks the other day. This includes uh, my very, very close, intimate friends, Nick and Sean. Uh, Sarah was pissed that she couldn't get on Guardians, which is her favorite theme park ride. Meanwhile, with Nick and Sean being at the parks, I was pissed off because I couldn't get my favorite ride because they were at a theme park. <laughs> 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 oh, I was supposed to say, meanwhile, I was pissed off, pissed that I couldn't get off because she couldn't get on. Mm, I couldn't get off. Mm. But anyway, <laughs> we'll, put, yeah, we'll put two, two. It's been a long night. <laughs> anyway, last time we talked about shower habits today. To Scott, the most shocking shower habit that I had was actually taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and those are my cliff notes. Very nice. Thank you, Chris. It's been quite the show. A lot of stuff's happened, so nothing can stop this little boy from recapping the day. The Chris's Cliff's Notes way. 
So if you want to hear about my mental health breakdown, uh, join our Patreon for as low as $2 You're a month. Back. <laughs> and you can hear all about my midlife crisis and my, uh, my mental health moment. Alex, I think I joked about death too much this episode. You ever just feel like a cleanse from no new friends? Oh, yeah, always. I Every Wednesday after I get done editing the podcast, I need a cleanse. Yeah, just like a little bit of family friendly content, right? Something wholesome. You have a recommendation? Our other podcast, Dis His, the Disney History Podcast, I think would be a great alternative. Do I have to like Disney? Uh, I mean, it helps. All right. Well, because I love Disney. Well, that's really good. That's a good start. Where can I listen to this podcast that I record with you? Well, our podcast comes out every Tuesday, but if you want, you can also go to our YouTube channel, Diz His Pod, and we have all of our past episodes up on there. We also on all social media under Diz His Pod. We do post every week, and uh, we also have our own Patreon, just like uh, No New Friends. Really? I'm going to have to go check this podcast out that we do together. Yes. I would love if you listen to our podcast once in a while. Uh, what's coming up on Diz His, Alex? Well, Scott, actually... Um this Tuesday will be the last episode of Diz His. We'll be going over the, the history of Beastly Kingdom. If you don't know what that is, check out the episode. It's fun history. And we're going to have a week hiatus, and then we'll be back under the same feed, but under a new name, Into the Disneyverse. And that will still be Chris, myself, and then Ryan, who you hear from Florida Man, Jersey Man, and RJ, who you hear from travels and tribulations thank you alex so sarah where can our listeners find you you can find me on the tiktok at super sarah 94 and you can find me on the instagram at old soul thrift darren um you can find me on instagram at darren underscore maffei and that'll i'll have a link tree to all of my other socials in there chris before I talk about where you can find me, please head over to our Tee Public. Every single design on our Tee Public is now available as a hat. Nice. So if, you, uh, if you're sad because it's like, oh, I don't want to buy this shirt because I only wear it once before I have to wash it. Now you can get a hat and wear it every day, including the Darren.com hat, which is where you can find Darren. But if you want to find me, you can find me at Chris Yob on Instagram, where I do post probably daily pictures on my Instagram story of my daughter. Uh, you can find me on TikTok at Chris Yob NNF. And you can find me blocking Chris's Instagram, but That's also uh, <laughs> no longer follow me. you can connect with all of us on all of our social media right there on our website. No new friends podcast.com. Check out our sweet merchandise, including those really cool hats that Chris told you about. And then also join our clubhouse for as low as $2 a month. You don't miss a second of the action. You get to see everything, uh, giveaways, exclusive content, yada, yada, yada. Also, if you listen to us on Spotify, Apple, or anywhere that you can leave a rating, please leave us a five-star rating and a review. We really appreciate it. If you have anything less than a five to give us, don't do a rating. Just email me, no new friends podcast at yahoo.com. Don't forget to vote for us. Vote.orlandoweekly.com under the category Local Notables, Best Local Podcast. And if we're nominated for anything else, throw us some nominations there too. Maybe TikTok, I don't know. We'll, we'll see when it comes out. On behalf of this sophisticated gentleman, Game Master Ryan, our producer Alex, Darren, Nick, Sarah, Chris, I'm Scott. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye bye, bitches. Goodbye. Don't friends, just the old-